Oh, we're going to start by saying Wesley in the building. Uh, so, Wesley, man, uh, let me just start off by uh, I, I made a I made a made the call video. Uh, maybe. Well, of course, I made the call a while back, but the video just posted maybe about two, three weeks, maybe about a month ago. And uh, and the conversation between me and the, I guess, recruiter slash HR slash person in charge of of bringing uh, drivers on with with said company, uh, I kind of. I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of felt some kind of way about that. But it's not about how I feel about, you know, about the company, because basically what I do is just gather information and I'll just pass it on to to my network of drivers. And I and I have them to make their own decisions, whether or not the company, you know, is good for them or not. Now, this is a company that was 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 advertised through social media um it, it came through one of the facebook feeds of course uh one of my network of drivers sent the sent the link over to me i read it you know i read it and i was interested in finding out a little bit more about this company so i made the uh i made the call to them a lot of Facebook, Instagram, social media companies have a, a, a stigma now because a lot of them are 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 com you know common with some drivers that they feel some kind of way that these is like fly by night companies. You know, these are just the companies that want to bring you in, put you in their trucks and you know just just drive and whatever whatever these is not good companies these companies want to run you ragged these companies want to mess up your cdl said company that we're talking about is golden way and the red flag to me was obviously the name <laughs> but um but I did, but I did, you know, in all my call videos, I always re try to reach out to uh, current and past drivers to come on and give their experience about the company and introducing Wes. Uh, you said that you, you know, you was uh, with, with the company. So welcome to the show, man. I really do appreciate you coming on. Thank you. All right. I appreciate you having me. All right. So let's uh let's start with you for a little bit, man. Uh what was your you know, what's your story? How you got into trucking and what you was doing before you got into trucking? Oh, well I used to work for Gwinnett County in uh, uh, in Georgia and I worked for them for several years and then uh, when my mother passed away in ninety eight and I decided to go over the road and that's how I got into the trucking business. Okay. I've been in it since '98, all the way up till now. Okay. Okay. So you you you're not one of those drivers that just got into it because of the money or something like that. You 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 got into it because of a life changing experience for you. Yeah, and I got into it because one other good way to see this country and get paid. <laughs> so back in 98 man uh, do we, we we could consider you a, a old schooler a veteran what's what's what was times like back then in 98 yeah, when i was doing i've done it in 98 it's right before the electronic laws came out and they started doing all the changes to the trucks okay okay i got a little taste of the old i got a little taste of the old school and i like it better than better than i do do some of the new stuff they've got but some of the new stuff they got now is still good too. Now they say the money was better back in the day, was it? It is better by because you was able to run what you can run. When you got tired, you pulled over and went to bed and got some sleep. You got up and you go again. But you you make a little bit more now than what you did back then. You don't have to run as hard. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, so back then, man, uh, what was what was the respect like back then? Because the level of respect now, 
and this it comes from across the board. I'm not just going to say from outside people that don't know the industry, but from inside the industry as well, because we get we get disrespected by our own brothers in trucking. What was the what was the respect for you guys back in the day? It was a lot better than it back then than what it is now because they got these, they got younger guys out here now that don't even have respect for other people at all, not especially other drivers or anything. So it's just back then it was a lot better, a lot more respect, and you was able to people to help you out when you needed it. No problem. If you broke down, it would be a trucker to pull over side of the road to help you. They don't even do that no more. You know, I I was told by uh, by a company driver that some companies don't even allow uh, uh, truckers to help truckers anymore. They they said it's a liability now. It is. It's a liability because they're afraid, and it, and it has happened. You pull over to help somebody, and when you do, the next thing you know, you done been robbed. And they done took off with your truck. All right, all right. It is, it is a big liability. I mean, they've got Look at the people this last year that truck driver will just be sitting in the truck stop or like a guy in Memphis riding on I forty there in West Memphis shooting up truck drivers. And that's a damn shame because I seen uh, a few uh posts in Facebook about truckers being shot at for no entire reason. We got we, we got uh we got truckers also as well as four wheelers cutting us off giving us the finger just downright you know being again being disrespectful uh a lot and it's it's a lot more prevalent now in the modern days of trucking because you know we 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 don't have veterans that's already in it but we don't have veterans that's coming into this game to show the new truckers the way you know the way of trucking now you know, now it's 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 these uh, millennials, these hurry up and go, these you know, her, uh, you know, these truckers now that's coming in, that's thinking about you know, not the industry itself as a as a lifestyle, but they looking at it more of as it is a job. What, what's your thoughts on yeah, that? Yeah, so that's the back look. That's what they think of it is is a job. They don't the people they put in the truck now. They don't realize that that eighty thousand pound vehicle can kill someone quicker than what they could in a car. And a lot of the companies look at it and say, "Hey, let's just put them in there." And they don't train them right. They don't teach them the right stuff. And they just put a driver in there because the government gives them money. For putting them in there. Ever how many people they put in there? They put them in there. Somebody's got to start somewhere and learn, but you got to teach them right. And that's the problem. They're not teaching them right. All right. They don't realize what this truck can do. I mean, you put a 20, 23 year old boy in there that some of them are got good heads on their shoulders and they understand what they're doing and they understand that vehicle can kill somebody. Mm-hmm. Then you stick somebody in there that all he does is look at it as a job. That's it. Mm, that's what's up. That's what's up. I I appreciate that one, man. A lot of guys, a lot of guys don't see, you know, don't see it that way, and that's why it's always sometimes it's good to, you know, come to uh, a channel like mine, the Lockout Men Podcast Show, where the best conversation starts over here, and listen to, you know, listen to the guests that I have on the show, because some of them, you know, some of them comes with wisdom. I mean, here's Wesley, you know, 98. We looking at we looking at about what, 30 years? Oh, about 27, 28 years, somewhere in there. Wow. Uh congratulations for uh for that, man. Uh now throughout your 20 about your, you know, two decades and 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 some change years, man. What was some of the harshest things that 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 you was involved in or that you seen throughout your uh, career in trucking? Um, what, you, what do you mean the hardest things I've seen out here or the hardest things I've been in? 
or you know either either or like have you ever been in have you ever been in a trucking accident or have you seen an accident that kind of made you you know in the beginning of your trucking career that kind of made you think like man this is the wrong wrong career to get into everything i have seen out here it has made me respect this business even more and made me learn more that hey this could happen to you and i could wind up killing somebody if i don't what i'm doing Hold on for a second. I think I lost you. Hold hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think I lost you. About to go through a little dead zone. Hold on for a second. Hold on. Uh Wesley, I, I, I lost you for maybe about a good three, four seconds. All so right. can you repeat back what you just said? Yeah, I said what I have seen it. Uh wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm still oh. I look at. I'm still having phone issues. Hold on, hold on. You 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 get that when you be driving through these dead zones. Okay, all right. I got the bars. You well, still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I got the bars. Go ahead and repeat what you just said. Hello, you there? Oh, wait a minute. I think I lost him. All right, all right. That's that's why I do not. That's why I do not like doing this while I'm driving because of my because of the uh, area that I go through. My bars go up and down. Uh, give me a minute to see if I, I can pull over and park it. Hey, no, nah, we got to keep moving, bro. <laughs> 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 we got we got to keep moving, man. All right, go ahead and repeat what you just said about uh about you know your experience out here. Uh, you know, if there was an accident that you was involved in or you seen that may everything, have changed you. Everything I have seen out here that it just makes me respect this business even more mm -hmm. because it could be me. And if my truck ain't safe to drive on this road, it could be me hitting someone or me getting wrecked, and I could wind up dead or killing somebody else. I've got a family to go home to, and i got friends and stuff that wants me around for a long time, I hope. Mm -hmm. And I try to make it as safe as possible because I don't want to wind up killing somebody or kill myself. Mm. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, man. So let's uh let's get into it, man. Uh Golden Way Transportation. Uh I be I, I I'm not sure where, Golden Way Trucking. Golden Way Trucking. Where where are they located at? They're located in Plainsville, Illinois. All right, so Plainsville, Illinois. Of course, this is an Illinois company, and you guys know what that means. So Wesley, man, give 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 us your experience with the company because you know I let let me let me give you my experience with with the young lady. Now she did reach back out to me uh, via text, and you know we kind of got into a in in into a back and forth that kind of that again that kind of made me feel some kind of way about the company. Now I'm like this. A lot of companies out here loves to be promoted. They love to get their information out there sorely for, you know, for the sake of getting drivers to be interested in the company. I'm that type of person that feels that if you don't have nothing to hide, if you're not a shady company, then you will be happy with all of the all of the attention that, you know, a person of my channel brains. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, of course, the conversation that me and her had was kind of like was kind of like different. I won't get into it. But being that you are, are you a current employee with them or are you are you a former employee with them? I'm I'm employed with them now. I, I run the heavy haul side. 
Okay, okay. So, so talk to us. Uh, what was what was your interest of getting in with the company from start to where you um from start to now sitting in the truck? Well, when I got with him, I was running a reefer and stuff like that. And then I went to the drive van, and he got this heavy haul equipment, and he was looking for somebody to, to run it. And I got in, started running it for him, and, and, and then the coronavirus started. Then when the coronavirus started, he couldn't find the heavy haul loads, and then I left, and then I came back. He asked me to come back and run the heavy haul side again, and I came back and run it, and we've been running it since. And they've always treated me right. They've always done me good. They've always been honest with me. They've been straight up honest with me. All right, the heavy haul side. So talk to us about heavy haul, like like construction equipment, what? We haul anything that we can get on these trailers, from heavy equipment to AC units to generators to Caterpillar engines, um, whatever we can get on them. Anything that weighs overweight or oversized or overhyped. All right. Now, not without getting into your money, because, you know, we, we, we don't want to we, we don't want to, you know, speculate on that. But heavy haul for them. How what 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 is it? Percentage? I, I'm I'm going to assume percentage being that it's heavy haul. But do do you guys run? Um, What do you call it? Cent per mile over there? Or is it just all percentage? Well, the heavy haul side. The way I do it is I'll start you out at a, um, it'll be a salary is what it is. And it all depends on your experience and stuff. We start you out about, um, uh, 1500 a week. And then from there, we let you grow up. Okay. Okay. 1099. I, uh, I take it with uh golden one. Yes, sir. All right. So, yes, so 10, so 1099 company driver, are they able to, are they able to uh, pick and choose their loads from a low board, or is it dispatch out to them? The dispatch finds them and gives them to you, and then you go pick them up and get the measurements and all that, then you can uh, send the measurements back to him where he'll know exactly what he's got. Then you get a hold of the permanent agency that we have and give them your size and your height and what the estimated weight is for the first state. We get you that permit to get you to a scale. Then you go weigh it. Then they get the rest of the permits for your weight. Okay, okay, okay. It's sound, sounding good so far. Okay. So, of course, uh, of course, they're looking for experienced drivers. So, what's the least amount of experience you need to come in with them? Well, if you're going to do the reefer and stuff like that, I think it's a, your experience. On that side, the reefer and the step deck, um, I think it's a year. But over here on the heavy haul side, I don't want anybody over here unless they've had at least three years experience doing the heavy haul. That's that's including driving, securing, making sure everything is, is safe and secure, right? Yes. Okay, 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 that's what's up. Because you're dealing, you're dealing with 100, 100 and something thousand up to 150,000 pounds, and that's a lot different than doing step deck and, and dry van and reefer. All right. Now, as far as, now as far as uh, taking, you know, as far as the company itself, how long has the company been in existence, do you know? I think they've been in business for at least 15 years, if I'm not mistaken. Don't hold me to that. That's what I think. Okay. So over, so overall, how, how long have you been with them? I was with them um, for, I think it was um, almost three years before. Then I left for about a year and came back. Okay, so your overall. Oh, been, oh go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah, overall, I've been here for about almost five years. All right, and your overall experience with them has been has has been a good one. 
Yes, sir. All They've right. always made me feel friendly. They've always been friendly and make you feel at home. And if, if there's a problem or something, you let them know it, and they help you solve the problem. And if something happens at home, they make sure you get home on time and make sure you're there. Um, they really do take care of you. And everybody I have seen, they have taken care of them unless they, unless that person has done something very, very bad or something like that, then they'll let you go. But other than that, they treat everybody pretty decent. And I can't complain. Okay, okay. Now, what do you what what do you want the uh, potential drivers to know about uh about Gateway? Cause it, I mean, what what other what other things you want them to know? You know about about Golden Way. I'm sorry, I, what I say, Gateway. Sorry about that. Uh, what 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 do you want potential drivers to know about Golden Way? Other than other than the obvious that we already spoke on. Well, they they treat you with open arms. They really do. And if there's something that you need, they they will get it for you if it's reasonable. Um, they really they really are friendly people. I mean, they really do help each other, help you out. They they want to make you feel like a person, not a truck number. And when they when they talk to you, they always know you by your name, not by your truck or your social security number or anything like that. When you call in, they know who you are. They talk to you as as your name. They know exactly who you are when you call in. And they they're real. They treat you real well. And if you're not getting the miles or anything like that, you let them know it, and they'll work with you to find out why. They really do help people and the drivers out. They want you to make it make it here. They want you to be successful. They don't want you to leave. They want you to stay, and they want you to make it. And they got real good equipment. They put you in it, and they want you to take care of it. You treat it like it's yours. All right, all right. So this, this, uh, now Wesley, man, you, you're not just coming on here, uh, you know, giving your assessment of the company. Considering the fact that you've been with them for five years, you know, on and off, you, you're not coming on here, not you coming on here honestly to give your honest assessment of of your experience with Golden Way Trucking. You're not doing this for no no driver referral, no... I'm not doing this for no referrals or anything. I will tell you right to your face, I will tell it to a driver's face straight up how I feel, and you prove me wrong, then prove me wrong. I'm not here to make money for getting somebody to come over. I'm just telling you the truth of what, I, what I've seen and what I have experienced with this company. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, Golden Way, go Golden Way Trucking out of out of Illinois. Um, so with the with the orientation, you know, of course we gotta you know go through you know the rigmarole, the the drug testing, and all that other good stuff. But in orientation, how long is orientation before we actually get into a truck? Orientation is one day. The day you come in, you'll be in that truck that afternoon. And the truck, and we are able to take the trucks home with us on our home time? It's in a safe, secure area that they approve of it. I mean, if it's at your house, yes. But if you're going to leave it at a truck stop or somewhere, you got to let them know the address of that place. And it's got to be a secured area where nobody can steal it or break into it or something like that. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. So the money. They so, just don't want you to leave it on the side of the room. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So there, there, there. This is a legit company. Uh, of course, it's ten ninety nine. So that's something that you guys, you know, if y'all interested in ten ninety nine, because you know when when you do ten ninety nine. You know, everything falls back on you, the 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 driver. But there's, but but their company, so they don't have to worry about no no uh, escrow in the truck. They don't have to worry about any repairs to the truck or anything like that. They just have to bring the truck back the way they got it, right? 
Yeah, um, and they take out uh, for 10 weeks, they take out $250 for 10 weeks. And that money there is in case you um, tear up the truck or damage the truck or whatever, but as long as you turn the truck back nice and clean and it's not trashed, then you get that money back. And they take out $40 a week for um, workers' comp if uh, something does happen that you're still able to get paid. That's the only thing they take out. All right, my man Wesley is here in the building. I really do appreciate you coming on and uh and clearing the air about Golden Way, Golden Way, Golden Way Trucking out of Illinois. So, brother man, I do appreciate you coming on and uh chopping it up with me about that. I I, I pretty much got a better understanding now because you know, like I said, it's uh well, it ain't what I say, but it's like what a lot of people have said that uh in order to get a good idea of the company uh that you might be interested in it's always a good idea to talk to the drivers that drive for them well i mean you got every company you go to work for you've got people that's got good things and you got people that said bad things but you also got to look at the ones that had, said, had bad things to say what did they do to cause that to be bad Mm -hmm. Were they running? Were they didn't want to run or, or what? I mean, any any job you do, the, the, if you run, you're going to make your money. If you don't want to run, then you ain't going to make it. And that's what this company is about. They want you to make it. They want you to, to make money. They want you to, to be here for a long, long time. They don't want you to leave. They want you to stay to make your money and take care of you. And they really do take care of you. I mean, they're paying... 60 and 65 cents, I mean, 66 cents, I think it is, uh, for the drive, for the step decks. They pay real good for step decks a mile. So, I mean, they, they really here to really take care of you. I mean, they give you stuff for Christmas and stuff like that. They, they just, they're real good people. All right, all right. Golden Way Trucking, Wesley in the building. Thank you very much, sir. Before you get on up out of here, because, you know, I know you're a busy guy and you're taking time out to chop it up with us at the Lockout Man podcast show, which is the best conversations starts over here. What are some major challenges that us truck drivers face, in your opinion? Repeat that. What are some major challenges as a truck driver? The major challenge is this, is that a lot, of, a lot of people who get their hair and get started, then they struggle. And that's, you got to struggle to make it to where you want it. There's some, some companies you don't get paid much, but you got to start somewhere to build yourself up to make the money. And that's where most of our struggles are at, is paying our bills. The struggle to get our bills paid. All right, all right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Wesley, man, thank you very much. How how can the drivers get in contact with uh, Golden Way? Um, they can go on their website, um, Golden Way Trucking. They've got it on uh, Instagram. they got Facebook. Um, they've got the website. Just look up Golden Way Trucking out of Plainfield, Illinois, and they have their phone number and everything there. Or they can call me and – 352-477-0145 and I can get them the number too. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Wesley, man. You stay safe out there, my brother. You too, and thank you for having me. Hey, I appreciate you, you coming on. Safe. Thank you, sir. Thank you.